let's check out the square presentation. So we're going from circle to square. Xbox logo is circle. All right. Well, so we're going to continue the let's watch. Like I said, today's going to be a bit of a let's watch spree because of E3. Um, now let's check on out Unlocked gets locked again, but there's still Square Enix. Summer of gaming rolls on with the Square Enix showcase. Let's go. I like that it's still classified as the Summer of Gaming for IGN because that's that's just what they're calling it. But oh, we're starting off with the trailers straight off the bat with Square. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here. Oh, what? Is your host of Square what? what? Matt Mercer is just the host for Square's thing. With new game announcements, updates. I felt like Persona. This is very Persona. What is going on? Why are we? Why is this very Persona? Of a brand new game from Eidos, Montreal. Montreal. World premiere. So it's gonna be a Western one. I am so proud of you. That was pretty visually stunning. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Something that's a part of you. Oh shit, it's a Marvel game to start with. Gardeners of the Galaxy? Oh my god! So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. Oh, it's just, it, oh my god, is this a full-on Guardians game? Okay, this is pretty dope. It's like the movie version too. Oh no, I can't listen to this. Oh, I can't listen to the song. I want to listen to the song. We've actually seen, we've heard We Need a Hero twice now over this uh, uh, E3. So it's an action shooter. I assume you play as each of the different guardians. Root's got armor. I love that uh, Rocket's got like a chin, like goatee situation. Drax looks, I wonder, they feel a little bit different. Like, I wonder if it's meant to be the distinctly different, but so, kind of the same. Like, Drax isn't nowhere near as chunky as he is. We've got Frozen Quill in space. Oh, I'm missing all the jokes. You are Star-Lord? So you're just, you're just, you're just Peter. Okay. It's very, it's very, very movie feeling. This looks good. This legit looks good. Ironically compared to the other thing that they were showing off with Marvel. Oh, I wish I could hear this. I wish I could hear the music that goes along with this. Oh, look, it's a, uh, I forget her name. The one from the second movie. And I think she's like a proper guardian as well. The thing is, I didn't know about the Guardians of the Galaxy really that much until I had seen the first movie. Oh, it's Space Dog. There you go. That's a pretty cool thing to see. There you go. My name is Olivier Pou, senior producer here at Eidos Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single player, story driven, third person. Okay. It's interesting. That, so, it's limiting themselves to play as Peter makes sense. Something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star hey, Carter, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Action, as you try to lead this band Give me a shout out, man. What, are you, what were you doing? Today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you. You're playing All World Ends with you. Oh, cool. Are you prepping for the new World Ends with you? Behind this project. All right, let's do this. We're just checking out. We've just started the Square Enix showcase, and it started pretty heavily. We got Guardians of the Galaxy, which is pretty dope. Had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry picked characters from Marvel. Oh, I feel. Oh, there's going to be a lot of talky chat. There's a lot of talky about this. All right, like I said, we're going to probably fast forward when we just get a little too much talky. As much as I'm excited about this game and it looks good, we're just going to have a lot of talky. Hang on. Hang on. We're, just, we're going to go pass through this. 
But yeah, do you have a good stream, man? Do you enjoying? Are you enjoying? Uh, let the world's end. Uh, T T W E. Oh, I forget how to say it. Twoey. <laughs> it's very good. If you only just started, it's really good. I also watched the future game show. It was a bit lackluster. Yeah, the the other two ones usually are. I might just cherry pick um some good trailers from that one. But uh yeah, the definitely want to watch the I wanted to watch the Xbox and the Bethesda um and now the Square Enix, but were we a lot of fun? Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's really it's I'm really excited for the second one. It looks this looks fun. It looks it looks stylish. It looks clean. It looks like it's telling a fun story and it looks like it's what I care more about from space sci-fi, which is just space fantasy sci-fi. And uh yeah, totally happy for more of that. But we do not need to hear that much talky about the development during one of these presentations, but it seems like Square's pretty happy with it. So um Are they legitimately showing us the loading screen? How much are they going to... They, oh my god, how many times are they going to show a couple of these scenes? Wow, they're really, really, really wanting to promote this square super duper leaning onto this game. Oh, okay, so it's like it's got like story driven elements and stuff like that. monsters and you are not a monster Groot are you really offering to no okay so it, it's they got different voice actors because I was like trying to figure out initially if the voices were correct absurd lady hellbender seeks the monster within the small ugly one is clearly the correct choice it's cruel sadistic and his soul is filled their voices aren't as like the they don't have a lot of Tom like it's not as the depth to their voices aren't as heavy I saw a couple on the Xbox ones, mainly Halo and Sea of Thieves. The Sea of Thieves ones made me laugh. That was really weird. They seem a bit out of plate. They do. They sound like, like, kind of lighter versions each of each of the voices. How many times am I gonna have to mute this for music? Oh man. I would love to hear what this sounds like properly. They're really leaning in on this, aren't they? Holy crap. Like, I'm excited for this game. This is, looks cool, but we're getting a lot, a lot of, a lot of shown off here. Very, it's, it's the, it's the Final Fantasy X, uh, Road of Lightning <laughs> happening. So you're gonna have to dodge the lightning uh, 50 times in a row, 100 times in a row to unlock uh, Quill's new weapon. Yeah, I muted it a couple of times as well. Yeah, this is definitely something uh, I'm gonna have to keep on the, the mute trigger. Carter, did you watch this when it was live or did you watch it like much later? Weird bra brain flaws? Immediately down below. Oh my god, slime cube. They're going to make a joke about slime cube. Oh my gosh, how much? How much are they showing off of this game? They're straight up freezing the cubes. What is, is this very RPG like now? Again, fun, very silly, and it fits. You watch the uh, future game show live, and then the Xbox One afterwards. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Glad I'm not the only one uh, getting very excited about watching all of these. Holy crap, how much are they showing off here? Like, there's a large portion of this is this. All right, we might, I'm going to skip about three or four minutes worth of this. Oh no, it's, we need a hero again. How many times are we gonna put the, the soundtrack on? I wonder if that's actually in game or if they're actually like, not, it, this is just for this trailer.
There we go. More, more music. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. <laughs> so, question chat. Is this the same team that made the other Marvel game? I honestly have no idea. It doesn't look like the same. It kind of looks like its own thing. Especially if they've been working on it separate for a, a couple of years. So they must have had two Marvel games going on at once, so... Um... And what I dream of what I need... Thank you, Medic. Medic, are you excited for this game? I just like this song. Now you meant to say you like this game. You're like, you're so happy this game is being announced. It's what Square Enix wants to hear here. I haven't watched or read the comics. You should watch the movies. The movies are really good. I honestly think the Guardians are just some of the funnest, funner Marvel movies. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the Marvel movies. Watch the comics. Yeah, we watch a digital comic. It just plays automatically for you, Carter. going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. Remastered. Relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its... Okay, so Legend of Mana and a remaster. What remaster? It's a pixel remaster. What does this mean? So it's Final Fantasy 1. Wait, are we getting a remaster of Final Fantasy 1 again? Wait, oh shit, oh it's all of them. Oh, it's all of them. Are they just making a collection? Oh my god, it's just a pixel, it's just a remaster. Okay. Okay. Why? That's a terrible name and a terrible logo. Alright, so we're getting Secret of Mana. For mobile? They're already on mobile, card. That's the funny thing. That's why I'm not too impressed, because the remasters already exist, and they already exist on mobile, and... Like, they even exist on the fucking DS, like... The DDS, the DS and the 3DS remakes are just really good. Legend of Mana. Available June 24th. It's nice to see the Mana series getting a bit of love, but it's still one of those things where I don't know how many people are going to be super excited about it. Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. All right, so more. So we knew this was coming. The season pass is continuing for uh, Marvel's Avengers, a game that's still sold super poorly and is losing the money on a daily basis, but still unsure if that's it's ever going to be like recoup its costs. You have to be an extreme Marvel fan to really want to get into this. Man, look how boring everyone looks. Power of Valence, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome on in. I know putting them in like normal clothes is kind of like you meant to like make them a bit more like modern and stuff. It just, that kind of makes them a bit more boring. This game just looks a little boring to me. Oh, you're, it's Kahuna. Hi, Kahuna. You're pumping up those follow numbers. Oh my god. You didn't need to do that, but thank you. But welcome in. I heard that OC characters are a bit of a Mary Sue. Oh, what? Oh, is there original characters in this Carter? I didn't realize that. I thought it was all comic stuff. Yeah, this game, this game just seems not for me at all. I don't know. It's very, like, look at that, look at how crunchy it's making it on stream, because it's just, it's so over the top on visuals. This particularly looks really crunchy, actually. I don't even think this is my stream, I think this is, I think the video is actually a bit crunchy. Yeah, I think it is. Black Panther. Oh, so they're getting a separate trailer for Black Panther, that makes sense. But how's your day been, uh, Karuna? I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but 
There's a man who has seen three black... Are they actually going to have them in a forest or a temple in this? You had the same problem with the, the future game show? Really? Weird. Well, this is funny because this, I'm watching this on IGN's page, so it's not the source, but it's like, it's only going up to 1080p. I, I just realized I have to mute the stream again. There's more licensed music. There's so much licensed music in the Square Enix one. But it's Black Panther, I guess. I have no idea who that bad guy is. It's... It's a man that can teleport and explode Wakanda. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> He's got robo spiders. Everything robo. So who's this dude? He has some red jumpy power. I'm sure people are super excited for Black Panther. Maybe it's something that they can use to pull people back into the game, but I still don't know if people are going to get super excited about it. I have no idea what that man was. The War for Wakanda. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad I muted that because there was like that song there. <laughs> Mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Mobile game. Good evening, 426. Oh, this will be okay. So this is we've seen this before. So I'm always down for seeing more Hitman, but we've seen this before, so. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike. Wait, oh, you don't play as 47. Hitman Sniper. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was a very short trailer. Oh, yay! Yay! So I played the beta. The beta was good. I, oh, I went to play it on stream, but I realized the beta was actually a lot shorter than I thought. So if you want to play this, there is a pre-register. There might be a second beta wave, but it runs very well on my phone. So I'm excited. Wait, what's this? Sorry, we just got- oh, it's Brave Exodus. Okay, that makes more sense. I was about to say, we just got a remaster before. It's still crazy to me that Exodus is still going. People are so far in there. Wait, hang on, sorry. I, I sort of zoned out for a sec there. Is it just, ba it's just Brave Exodus. Okay. You're just promoting it. Honestly, I, I, when you see stuff like this and how it's sort of presented, it's very Japanese-y. Shinra? What's this? Oh, this is, uh, Final Fantasy VII Soldier? Ec whatever. <laughs> whatever it's called. No idea if that's going any well. First Soldier. I got Automata I want to stream. Yeah, Automata is super fun. You'll really enjoy it if you've never played it, Carter. I love, I love the Neoverse. Oh, yes! Oh, finally! Oh, here we go. Here's the one I've been waiting for for an entire day. Platinum. Speaking of Automata. The next Platinum Square funded project. The Dark Souls of, uh, of Platinum Games. There's tendrils from the skies. Oh, the art style's weird here. Why is it all weird? Why is it all kind of like almost watercolor and picturesque? Is it like a weird rendering thing? What's going on here? If it's just out of radius of the camera, it goes into weird, like, low poly painterly textures. Hey Rift, how you doing? That tower's name is Babylon. Babylon. Looks cool. Got a good aesthetic. It's a bit generic -y at the moment, but... What the fuck is this voice? <laughs> 
Wait, hang on. Sorry. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's multiplayer. What? Sorry. Wait, this is a multiplayer game now? What? Hang on. This is a multiplayer platinum game. Did this happen because of the Grand Blue stuff? Okay. That's weird. Please be optional. I know, I kind of am a little concerned now. This has changed it a little bit. Um... Why is this a multiplayer game now? Oh, that voice. Not not down with that, that voice. Oh, it, I don't know about this anymore. This got a little weird. Was Did Square ask for this? Oh, I wanted a pure action game. Why have we gotten this? It's an action MMO style thing then? I hope there is a single player campaign. I hope that's not AI if you're in multiplayer too. Because there's that boss we saw originally. Why is the voice acting so weird? Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. That's the Dragon's Crown guy, I'm fairly sure. Oh look, it's coming for PS5. It originally wasn't announced for that, so fantastic. Okay, cool. Ooh, oh hey. Wait, sorry, it said developer interview. Saito! Yeah! I wonder if it'll cross be crossplay Carter. Well, there's like witch time and stuff like that, so there is the counterplay stuff. That does look like they're showing off a few single player sort of stuff. This looks single player here too. So I think they, I think there must be single player experiences here. The, very, the, the art style is very strange, like it's a bit weird. I kind of wish it was closer to the art style that they were going to have for um, uh, the Dragon game. Potential collab for us? I'm not sure if I would play this game necessarily on stream. If I do, uh, I, I, I don't know, we'll see. I need to know more about that game because now I'm a little concerned about it. That changed a lot than what we originally had thought about that game. First, here's a look at the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Feels it's a live service and I just want to see how it turns out first. Yeah, I know, I kind of agree. That that was not what I was expecting at all. I, I was so ready for that trailer and then it was like, multiplayer. Oh, <laughs> and it kind of looks a little crunchy. I was hoping the visuals would be a bit cleaner from last time. Because Platinum's this funny thing, I love Platinum to death, but sometimes they take some experimental choices that just don't pay out. Oh, this is another song. <laughs> Please stop giving me songs. But uh, yeah, I, uh, Life is Strange 2, I guess. Uh, so if you're a big fan of Life is Strange, I'm sure this is uh, very exciting for you. There's a lot of story games at the moment, like just like really well told stories, so. <sighs> if 
But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just kind of, I, I really, really wanted Babylon's Fall to be like the thing for this particular presentation. As soon as like they showed that game in a different perspective where it was leaning onto the multiplayer side of it, I don't know so much anymore. Like it's now one of those things where it's, the game might be torn in terms of a development style because of the fact that they've got to make it so it's always ready for its multiplayer component. And like the funny thing is I worried deeply for Platinum Games because they were making so many games at once for a period there. And then some stuff got axed, some stuff like ended up being like handed over, like the Grand Blue is no longer being done by um, Platinum Games. Maybe it's because they started working with Square Enix at the same time also considering that like Grand Blue is like X, uh, X Square people and stuff like that, whether or not there was like they weren't too thrilled with that. Maybe the stuff they learned from that they tried to put into Babylon's Fall and they weren't happy about it. Something weird, I think, it happened is happening there. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. But uh, I guess it's time to learn for about Life is Strange 2, which seems like there is a lot. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series. Well, sorry chat, if you are into Life is Strange 2, I really don't have anything to say. I haven't played the games, I'm not really interested in them. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening... But, it seems like it's September 10th, 2021, so it's actually gonna be this year, which is good. Oh, here we go, is this the meme? Am I about to see the meme? I saw people memeing on this. Is this it? Oh, it's got a nice amount of edge to it. Kill chaos. That's my mission. Oh, it's Team Ninja. What? Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. Is this Dante? Is this Dante? Dante Simple? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. It's the Chaos Man. Fuck, look at his sword. Oh shit, I'm gonna play the shit out of this game. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. Thirst. Oh no, it's it's uh, it's very edgy. This game also has very terrible visual quality. Why is this game like... Hang on, we're gonna do this because it's kind of... Oh, it is just the videos doing this. Chaos. It looks like chaos is a reason behind chaos. It must have been chaos. Alright, so, okay. Alright, alright. So I've traded Babylon's Fall. Team Ninja is giving me the action game I kind of wanted, I guess. Which is weird to say. So this, this must be, this is what the team was working on after doing, um... Uh... Neo. Garland. Did they just hang on? Is <laughs> Oh my god, it is the meme. Chaos. It's very it's DMC. Like it's very Devil May Cry. Who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. <laughs> no. Very own warriors of light. What? Hang on, sorry. Garland, the Warriors of Light. And they're talking about chaos. Is this Final Fantasy 2? What's going on? Oh my god. How many times are we going to say chaos? Stranger of Paradise. A Final Fantasy origin. What? Hang on. Sorry, what? It's a bold new vision for Final Fantasy. Sorry, what's happening? Sorry, is this is is Team Ninja making an origin story to some of the context for uh, Final Fantasy stuff? What the hell? I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix Chaos! I have to fight well Chaos! I have to keep Chaos in check. I promise we'll we'll play Integrad next week, guys. Apparently, it's not too long, so we might be able to push it over pretty quick. I'm looking forward to playing it though. As far as I know, there's no new content elsewhere. Uh, 
Oh, the world ends with you. I think we're at the end of this presentation, by the way, chat. This one went a lot quicker. Mostly because I think we skipped a bit of it. Also, the fact that it was... Whoa, hang on. What's, oh, it's Forspoken. Wait, when did Forspoken get this much visuals? Final Fantasy 16, we're seeing the same footage we saw before. 14, that trailer's dope. I'm really excited for Endbringers. I think, I think we're at the end. Thank you for the water, Alex. Oh my god. Well, that's that. And now it's up to Nintendo to bring out the big guns. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's some tasty text. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at that tasty trademarks. Oh, look at all of them. That's a lot of text. <laughs> I love that they chuck that on screen. But uh, I guess that was...